This is One on One. Bring musicians into the hospitals and nursing homes and hospice and walk them room to room to play right at the bedsides of patients. So when we're in the hospital, we're seeing patients fight every day. And we're seeing their families, you know, show strength every single day. And when our volunteers, musicians and guide go into the hospital, they're part of that same fight. They're fighting to make people's lives better. These guys are doing good stuff. They're right here in the studio. Michael Solomon is co-founder of Musicians on Call, and you just saw this guy on camera in that video, Pete Griffin, president of Musicians on Call. How are you doing, guys? Excellent. Doing well. Musicians on Call is? A nonprofit organization that brings musicians into healthcare facilities and brings them to the bedsides of patients. How'd you start it? Why? So I lost my girlfriend, Kristin Ann Carr, to a rare cancer called sarcoma about 24 years ago, and we set up a foundation in her name to do research for um, cure and treatment for that disease. And as an offshoot of that, her mother, who's Bruce Springsteen's co-manager, brought in some musicians to a healthcare facility, and they played in a big recreation room. Um, I was there for that and thought, oh, I can do this. I was a young, aspiring music manager at the time, so I brought in some of my clients into recreation rooms, and it was lovely. We would have anywhere between seven and 20 people in the room, and it was great. And one night, a nurse came and said, there's a couple people who were too sick to come down the hall, and will you go to their rooms? And that was the night where the magic began, because what we saw at the bedside of a patient and their family was really magical and palpable and like nothing I had ever seen or experienced before. How big at you? You know, I was, uh, I spent most of my career at MTV and was working on MTV's social campaigns. And a lot of the artists that I was working with on these campaigns were already involved with musicians on call. And uh, the stories they would tell me about the impact that this program had was pretty powerful. And, and one of the stories that they would often share, and I've heard this from all different types of artists, is that no matter where the artist was in their career, it was a great way to kind of reset and remember why you got involved with music in the first place. Because at this program, you're playing at the bedside of someone who's going through a really tough time, surrounded by their family member. And when you see how the room can transform through music and bring joy and healing, it's something you want to Main, you know, you want to keep being a part of. And so uh, after I learned more about it through them, um, I came over to Musicians on Call, and it's been fantastic. What do you see in people in terms of the response in their families? What have you, what have you seen? A lot of gratitude, a lot of surprise. People are constantly telling us, I haven't seen them laugh. I haven't seen any kind of response out of them in days, weeks, months. Um, and this is the first time that there was joy, that there was happiness, that there was a response. Mm -hmm. So we get a lot of that. And then the other surprise is the musicians, which Pete just alluded to. The musicians' reaction to doing this is the, is the big surprise to me. I, How do you when, get them? Uh, they come in droves. We have a waiting list. Um, we started- Of musicians? Of musicians. They, people to want volunteer? to volunteer, yes. People want to volunteer more than we have the capacity to support them at the moment. So, so help us understand the connection between the musician performers and the patients, how does that connection take place? So, I mean, we have, we have uh, a staff here in, in New York and, and in Nashville, for that matter, that coordinates these visits, and they're on a weekly basis, so it's Where? Like, Ge what's the geograph geographic footprint, if you will? So we're in 14 major markets across the country. Here in New York City, we're in uh, 18 hospital facilities just here in the city. And this is, this is where it all began. Yeah. In New York City. In New York City, here at Sloan Kettering. And, um, our, our team basically creates these relationships with the hospitals as well as volunteers and musicians and coordinates these visits on a weekly basis. And so these visits can, um, it's, it's artists from all different types of backgrounds. All of them are professional level musicians. Um, they may not be known or signed to a label, but they're professional musicians all the way up to, you know, Bruce Springsteen and Katy Perry and Kelly Clarkson and They've done Blake it. Shelton. Yeah, we've gotten support from Blake all these artists. I can't cut you off, I'm sorry, Blake Shelton, right? Yeah. Uh, he's pretty good, right? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> he's been... Is that Darius? That's Darius. We were just oh. with uh, Darius a couple weeks ago and Keith Urban uh, two weeks ago. I mean, these, these folks come to us because they want to do something that, uh, that makes a difference in people's lives. Oh, is, that, is that... That's Rachel Platten. Oh, wow. 
who actually we saw, she was here last night uh, performing in the city. And she's been a volunteer long before you heard her name, unless you happen to know her personally. I mean, she's been a volunteer she's for been... 12 years. Wow. Yeah, so she's, you know, their, her song. Is that fight. one of the Jonas boys? That is, Nick Jonas, yeah. It's awesome. But Rachel Platten's song, Fight Song, has been an anthem for many ways in hospitals and patients. And as Michael said, but long before she, that song came out, she's been performing with us. Um, and she's performed personally for over a thousand people herself. So um, we get that, that level of support from people throughout their careers. And it, it's made a big difference for the folks in the hospitals. You know, I'm wondering, because there is, the demand is so great, you have these performers. But... You know, we were also seen in, in several states, but there's a big audience in, on the Jersey side. You are not there. We have a program in Camden. Camden. Um, which is, which is which the Which hospital is it? Is it Our Lady of Lords? I think it is Lords, okay. yeah, that's Lady right. Lords. Okay. That's right. Um, but that's where we're at right now. But, you know, Musicians on Call is expanding, and we're looking to grow into more cities and hospitals across the country. Would you have to raise money to do this yes. as a nonprofit? Yeah, yes, same here. This, is right. the, this is the big challenge is... It's always it's always the the cart and the horse about you know how can we expand and raise and raise the money to do that so we're we're constantly working toward that and, so the, and the artists support us in doing that they play events they, for us yes. to raise money yeah what can people do right now if they wanted to be helpful well they could you know first of all they can just go to our website musiciansoncall.org right now and um, when you go to the website we've made it real easy if you want to become a volunteer that process starts online how can they volunteer I mean volunteer so the cool part about Musicians on Call is you don't just have to be a musician to get involved. When those musicians are going room to room, we actually have a volunteer guide who can just be a music lover um, that's trained at that specific hospital facility. So um, you get to learn how the hospital works, where to go in the hospital, and then you show up, and next thing you know, you might be walking around with Kelly Clarkson or a great local musician, and you take them room to room. So if you go to our website, you can find out how to volunteer. And then we also have a lot of events and auctions and other opportunities for people that want to you know, support us in, in, a, in a fun music-related way, but also know that that money is going straight to the organization. 74% mm -hmm. of each dollar goes to our programs. Um, we have a platinum rating by GuideStar, which is the highest rating they give. So the money is being spent well, transparently, and it's, a, I think, a great organization for people and to support. And that's the organization that decides or makes the determination as to what kind of nonprofit we're talking about. And uh, real quick, any events coming up? You can probably better answer that than I can. Yeah, we've, we've got a, a couple, but the big one on our calendar for this year is it's our 10th anniversary in Nashville. So we're going to be doing a big 10th anniversary event with a lot of the artists that have supported us through the years in country music, which is, which is a pretty extensive list. So that'll be in the fall. Uh, we're working our way up to that. We haven't announced the lineup, but it should be coming out soon. We also just had an event last month honoring Elvis Duran with Demi Lovato and uh, B, B. Miller and a bunch of great, talented people. How gratifying has it been for you? like nothing else. Giving is the greatest thing you can do. Giving your time, giving your money, it, it comes back to you in droves. Well said. Uh, Michael and Pete, we thank you for joining us here in the Public Television family and wish you and your colleagues at Musician on Call nothing but the best and, and continue to make a difference. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the Russell Berry Foundation, RWJ Barnabas Health, Fedway Associates, the Fidelco Group, Caldwell University, Suez, and by Adler Aphasia Center. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.